Barry Duplizzi coming to you from PCA 2024, sitting here at the fantastic uh, De Los Reyes booth with none other than my good friend, Mr. Chris Topper of Topper Cigars. Chris, how are you doing, my friend? Doing great. Good to see you again. Uh, it's so great to see you. And you brought another generation with you this time. Fifth generation is here, yes. Your son's with me, yeah. Yes, your son, Kurt Topper. He's, uh, he's standing over here. It's got to be awesome. I, You know, family is such an important part of your brand and such an important part of, you know, the legacy of Topper Cigars. Uh, what's it like having your son here as part of it? Oh, I mean, it's just, uh, I mean, you get, even on the new label, you can see we got all the generations are there. My son's named after my grandfather, so it's just, uh, I mean, it's a great family story, and, and I'm excited to tell it, so. That's great. Yeah, speaking of a story, this is a, this is a really, this the new Topper 1894 here. There's a lot of little, what we call Easter eggs on yep. this, and, you know, someone might say this is simple, but I call it classic, classic box, and then, but it has a story behind it as well, so please tell us a little bit more. So we always had thought uh, that this company originated in 1896, and uh, basically about a little over a year ago, I was uh, I got an email from a good friend of mine, Bill uh, Fink Jr., and he says, "Hey, Chris, check check out this letter that's on eBay. I think you'd be interested in it." So we went out, I bought the letter, and when I got it uh, delivered to me, started looking at it, and I just kind of appreciated the the old you know it was back when they actually had letter. This is a know? copy, right? That's a copy. Yeah. This is a copy. Okay. So uh, the Easter egg in that is that it says on the very top next to the logo. It says established 1894. So I kind of took a step back and said, wait a minute, 1894, it didn't make sense. So did a lot of further research and it kind of, uh, it leads to me believe that we actually did originate in 1894. So it's all these my, years. Yeah, my great grandfather moved to McSherry's Town, Pennsylvania in March of 1893 to learn the cigar business. And that's, that was a small town that we've talked about many times, mm -hmm. you know, 1800 people and about 20 cigar factories. So it was a little, it was a, it was a little Mecca for a cigar, the cigar industry at that time. Fantastic. So for all, after all these years, we think we thought it was another day, but it turns out and what, I mean, what a, what a beautiful find, you know, to get that letter, a piece of personal yeah. history and to, and then to, to create it into something new. And through all the research, I mean, I, excuse me, I, I just, I found all kinds of information, uh, just a lot of old stories and just to kind of cooperate, it was just very interesting. So awesome. well, that leads to the topper 1894, which we got featured right here. Tell us a little bit about this cigar. So, um, <clears throat> Basically, what we, <coughs> excuse me. Um, <coughs> kind of what I wanted to do was first off when I saw the uh, all the letterhead and all the artwork, we wanted to kind of recreate that and use that to to, to just to have it uh, as the you know the the key of the line. But um, the biggest thing is that we tried to do is make the blend <coughs> the blend something true to the story of the, of the company. So uh, as you know, we've always were made. We use Connecticut broadleaf wrappers, and we had. Uh, Cuban long fillers. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a little bit of a take on that, but we have the wrapper is actually, uh, it's a Habano seed, but it's grown in Pennsylvania. Okay. And then in the filler, we actually use uh, Connecticut broadleaf seed, but it's grown in the Dominican. So it's kind of a, it's a, it's an interesting take on our classic, uh, our, the way we used to make cigars. So well, one might say an evolution, right? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. An evolution of what, uh, you know, your family started yeah. uh, so long ago. And then, uh, and, but, you know, it's not to be too punny, but the, taking seeds and, and, and growing it into something special that ends different to honor the, the true founding of your, you know, your, your family's company, 1894. This is beautiful. So, and, and one of the things that we try to do and also to keep it true to the story, we've always been a great value cigar. Um, and you know, the old saying, you know, we need a great five cent cigar. Well, today's five cent cigar is basically anything under 12 bucks. So that's kind of exactly. where I tried to make it something that it was, uh, you know, at least reasonable, but we do you know, we're putting our name on every product as we always do. So I wanted to make it as, as best as possible as we could. So, so what can we expect to pay for this? Um, so basically they're going to be between eight fifty and ten fifty. There's three sizes. Sure. And where, uh, when can we expect to see this on shelves? So it should be on the shelves. Um, I'm saying may, it might be a little bit towards the end of April, but it definitely will see it on the shelves in May. Sounds good. So coming soon to a retailer near you topper tops them all. Over 125 years of excellence, 1894, the latest and greatest from Topper. Chris Topper, everyone. We'll see you soon.